start. I came in with experience, 13 years experience, so they had to give me at least what I was um, asking for. So I had his, they gave, he gave me $11. That was the starting cooks. Um, that was the starting cook salary at that time. The restaurant just opened at that time, too. And have you had a significant raise since then? Uh, no. Because my raises came, didn't come like everybody else's. That's why I was saying it, it wasn't fair in the beginning. I watched people come in and make the money I'm making maybe two years after they were in. And it took you 10 years. It took me 10 years. That's, I can be honest about it. I can say that. Every check is up to prove that. I saw people come in. If he liked them, he give them money. They making all this money, and I'm still sitting back busting my butt. Like, wow, why? God, I mean, what's taking so long? You know, and I'm asking about all I get is excuses. But I know for sure my coworkers are getting way more than she's doing less than what I'm doing. So, But I still stuck around. You know, all the people that left, all the good folks we had there, like many five years. A lot of folks have been there like six or seven years. They just walked off now because they just couldn't take it anymore. You know, um, and then it makes them bad and other places open up and give them more. <laughs> They'll go to another place and say, oh, they gave me like 25 cents more, a dollar more. They won't even ask you. And, and they do a real good job. Like, huh. Woo. <laughs> you know, so you can see some greed somewhere. Somebody's getting their pocket flat and somebody's, you know, all you keep hearing is excuses. The boss. <laughs> That's the only person you can go to about the money. <laughs> Seven twenty-five an hour. Yeah, you're going to bring that income home with the money she's making. But living on your own at seven twenty-five an hour, in reality, to these, this time and day, you, you can't live. It's impossible. With the prices, everything going up, like I say, the water. <laughs> you start with that. It's supposed to be free. Um, um, the food, you know, like I say, the bread, the milk, the eggs. If you look at the prices of these things over the years, they're constantly increasing. They're supposed to be decreasing, but they're not. They're increasing, so... You're looking at corn, you're looking at wheat, all these prices are increasing. If you look at the stock, you can notice they're constantly increasing in these areas. If you invest, you probably can get paid. Um, minimum wage is not increasing. It takes them at least 10 to 15 years to talk about increasing this thing. And by that time, it, you know, if the, the neighborhoods are destroyed, look at the neighborhoods now. That's, that's your product of minimum wage. I mean, how can you, I'm, okay, the benefits are there. If the benefits are there. They want to deduct that from your money that you need to pay this mortgage because you know you're underpaid. How can you get... Okay, let's put that minimum wage thing back together. How can you... Um, 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 you got to pay... That first check has to go toward the mortgage or the rent or the, whatever you might have that's going to take the bulk of the money. You still got to have medical insurance. You can't apply for medical insurance. You can't get the company's medical insurance because you, the money that they're paying you is only enough to pay for the bill that you already got ironed out. I mean, you have a check to check so tight if you really know how to work your budget. You know, you have a check to check so tight, you can't even get the medical insurance. You have to go other, you have to find other means wow. to take care of. I have my children, you know, my wife. I'm the only income in the house. You know, my time is precious. You know, when you're playing, when you're playing, when you're playing two parts, you know, you really, when you, you know, when you're in a bond and you're making a commitment, you got to come from the beginning and, you know, you, you get the foundation, what you're going to do, who's going to work and who's going to stay home um, and, and stick to it. It works. It works. And like I say, um, in my situation, I'm on the finance part. I got to make sure all of them have everything. I provide for everything. So my budget has to be tight. My time has to be tight. You know, and um, um, my responsibilities is, um, 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 you know, maintaining finances. You know, um, it's hard, man. Like I say, I, I have to um, really juggle my time. You know, things happen. You know, natural things, and you have to, you get sick, and then when that happens, that's when the kink in our road comes, and mortgage, we get behind on the mortgage, all the bills, everything happens, because you don't have the next day caught up. You know why? Because you've been living check to check off a minimum wage. You know, so that's why I'm not, I, I, like I said, I could never see 725 living for nobody on the planet.